The first day of class is really important in terms of just establishing norms and expectations for the course and, and really laying out the foundation of you know, how, how things will, will proceed. The first day of class is important because it establishes the tone for the rest of the, the course period. So on the first day, it's important for the instructor to communicate their own enthusiasm for the subject matter and connect it to how students will learn about what the subject matter is. It's also an opportunity for you as a teaching assistant or an associate instructor to get to know your students a little better and for them to get to know you. It's really important for students to be motivated and to understand how it fits into their overall educational plan. The first day is pretty important. You need to make sure that when you go to class the first day of class, you're confident and you feel prepared so that that instills confidence into the, the new students as well, that, they, that they're going to get the education that they feel like they need in order to succeed. It's important to know where your location is, what kind of space you're working in, what are the materials in that environment, how many students you're teaching, um, and an idea of what the course content's going to be. If you're new to teaching this class for the first time, it's important to read the course materials, meet with the instructor of record, or else do some of the reading yourself, go through some of the problems, go through some of the labs, thinking about what you're actually going to have to communicate to students to better understand how you're going to communicate the goals and expectations for the class. You should have met with the instructor. You should have made sure that the students know if or that they need to be there or not, because not all sections start on the first week. Community in the classroom is very important because it provides a space for intellectual risk taking, it provides a community for learning, and finally it provides students an opportunity to think about how this matters as far as their own understanding of the subject matter. Feeling like one belongs is really a basic human need and higher education research has shown that students who feel like they belong um, are more likely to persist in, in college. To get a uh, respectful environment on day one, I think a lot of it is giving respect. So one thing that I always struggle with is I butcher names on the first day. So I warn people, hey, I'm gonna butcher your name. If I say it wrong, please help me. Probably most importantly is to know who your students are. And so asking them on the first day to fill out something as simple as a three by five index card with perhaps where they're from, if they're comfortable with sharing that, some hobbies that they have, their major, gives you an opportunity to think about your students Setting expectations for communication is important and students should feel welcome to do so, but it's up to the instructor and TA to determine how that's going to look. The ways that I do that are to be honest in my communications, giving them a little bit of background about myself, so now maybe I've opened myself up, they're a little bit willing to, you know, maybe not be so closed off, whether it be about assignments or if you're a first year student, maybe they're going through some transitional things.
The first day of class is an important opportunity to spark curiosity and demonstrate the relevance of the course material in students' lives. Oftentimes, if we begin with very abstract concepts, it's difficult for students to see how it matters to them. And why it matters to them is an important motivational factor. You want to make sure that students are excited about the course and that you're starting to sort of clue them in to, you know, how to be effective learning partners. It's a thing that you're going to be building throughout the entire quarter. So if you kind of spark your enthusiasm for the subject matter on day one, it uh, just helps to make the class more fun and less class-like. A lot of the classes that you've TA'd you, or similar classes, and you can use your expertise and your knowledge to show the students how important that type of information is. How to spur our curiosity in the classroom can be accomplished a couple of different ways. Show them why you're excited. Walk in on day one. Use the big, bright, expressive voices. You can just make that first day really interactive and, and really leveraging some active learning strategies. Frame things in, uh, in the larger context. See how the material that we're learning here is applicable and it's going to you know, either get you a job or really solve and tackle problems that the world's facing. Show students what they'll actually be doing in class. Show them components of the reading, show them components of the lab, and present it as if we are going to learn these materials together. For students that may be from first generation backgrounds, those who do not have parents that attended college before, those that are transferring in from another institution, uh, they really want to know what to expect and there, therefore they can clarify how they're going to respond to those expectations. The learning goals or the outcomes for the class are very important to clarify on the first day. This helps map the course for what we're going to do in the class period. Giving them an overview of what you expect them to get out of the course. I know we're starting with this base level knowledge, but by the end of the 10 weeks, I hope that you're really critically thinking and able to articulate that critical thinking to me in your lab reports or whatever it may be. Also, you can say that this is an environment where we're partners in the learning process. We want the students to know that what happens in the classroom is sort of a two-way exchange. It's important to overview the structure of the class. Will the class function as simply a lecture when the students come in and they will do the applied materials in the lab? Will they be doing some group work in the class? Will they be doing more informal interactions? So to communicate the logistics of the class, that's not only where the class is going to take place, where the lab is going to take place, when that's going to happen. Make sure you give a broad overview of the course what's going to be happening throughout the 10 weeks, and actually setting aside some time to walk them explicitly through the syllabus. The instructor be using rubrics to grade assignments, essays, uh, various projects. How will students be evaluated? Going through office hours, knowing if they can go to other students' office hours, what kind of questions they can ask you.